Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we're touring the 1768 floor plan built by KB. This is the newest community that they have in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley. It's called the Glenwood. One of the few that still has some lots available that you can purchase right now without having to wait on the waiting list, which unfortunately is today's situation, uh, you know, in today's market that we are in. So uh, we have uh, four lots right now in this neighborhood that have a lot premium of about $13,000, but they have no neighbors behind, which is super nice. Now, as we go into the house, we're gonna see the 1768, one of my favorite floor plans for a starter home. Uh, we're looking at three bedrooms, a loft, and uh, two and a half bathrooms. We also have a two car garage as well in this house. Now, the base price for this house is $425,000. After that, you have to add all the upgrades that you're gonna put into the house, and we're gonna go over those upgrades together. I'm gonna to explain to you everything that is in this house as far as upgrades goes, and also uh, I'm gonna tell you, you know, what they spent in this house and what you could expect to spend in this house. 1768, it's a really nice floor plan. They have another floor plan, it's called uh, 1720, and it's over at a, a community right near, nearby. It's the uh, Saguaro Ranch community. But that one doesn't have a pretty spacious loft. This one is pretty much the same square footage, same price, but it has a full loft as well, so I'm excited about that. All right, let's go into it. So starting price, $425,000. We have our entrance right here, uh, garage entrance. So the two car garage in there, and now it's an office. We have our second uh, floor stairs. And then we have, as you can see here, a pretty nice open floor plan with, you know, good sized kitchen. You have your powder room in the back over there. And then upstairs, three and a half, uh, three bedrooms and a loft. Good size uh, living room, good size dining room. Everything is really well laid out in this floor plan, okay? Now, one thing about this one is the sunning price is 425 plus a lot premium. You're going to be at a minimum of 433 starting price for this house. Here is your powder room. Does not come with the wallpaper. Oh, I like it. Storage, I mean, linen closet, and then right here, coat closet as well. Dining room is pretty spacious. You got a pretty spacious living room. You got a good size island, three, three seats right here on the island. A good amount of cabinets as well. The pantry is pretty big. It's underneath the stairs, so it gives you plenty of room. As you can see. Well, yeah, let's talk about uh, this floor plan and see what it has in upgrades. You see in this home a luxury vinyl plank, although it looks like tile. It is a luxury vinyl plank. It is a waterproof flooring. This one's gonna cost you around six to seven grand to put it into this house on the downstairs, maybe eight grand or so. Uh, we have also an upgraded court, uh, sorry, a granite countertop. It comes with granite here. It, com it comes also with two colors of cabinets. Uh, they have a rye color or a, a spice color. They're about, you know, it's like a light brown or a little bit darker brown option included. And it comes with a 30 inch high cabinets also. Here we have not only the upgrade to the 42 inch cabinet, we also have the white shaker cabinet option, which is about five grand, um, probably four grand on this model. And then we have also an upgraded microwave. We have a upgraded uh, refrigerator. It doesn't come with one. And then also the handles on all the on all the cabinets are upgraded. We also have an upgrade on the pull-out cabinets right there. You see those drawers right there? These are not included, but you can get them at the design center. Very handy when it comes to storing some big pots right next to your oven, which is perfect. Sorry, your yeah, oven and uh, uh, range, push and range. We have also here an upgraded undermount sink. It comes with a Kohler right here, which is a granite finish on this one, dual basin, and then upgraded also. Um, what's it called? Um, 
faucet. So the faucet, this one is gonna cost you around five to $700. The sink over here about another 500 or 700 as well. And then we have uh, all the cabinet setups. That's, let's call it $5,000 with all the hardware and all and the pull-out drawers. The, the granite countertops, these are gonna cost you around two grand to get this specific model, but there's other options even cheaper than that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, breakdown of the kitchen. The flooring, I talked to you about that. We also have an upgrade here on the nine foot ceilings because it comes with eight foot ceilings. So you see the top of the windows, that's eight foot ceiling, eight, eight foot right here. But they upgraded to the nine foot ceiling so you get the extra foot right there. And it makes a big difference because if you have a ceiling of eight foot ceilings, all the windows get pushed down and then the door is also lower. So it makes everything look a little bit smaller and also less bright because not as much light comes in because the, the openings are smaller. Uh, going out to the backyard, you see the good size backyard, but this is an oversized lot that they have. It does not come with this. This is probably gonna be a $25,000 lot premium for a lot like this one. But the lots that they have available, they have no neighbors behind, and they also have a good sized backyard. Probably we'll get to probably the beginning of that little, you know, rise, uh, raised patio right there. Okay. So, how much does this house have in upgrades? How much should you expect to put into the house? If we're looking at this house, we're looking at probably somewhere around $50,000 in upgrades because it does have pretty much everything in it. But if you're looking at something, you know, maybe make it, maybe look, look, uh, make it look as nice, maybe just the included tile, but extend it everywhere downstairs. And maybe you don't need to go all out with the cabinets or the countertops, you get something a little bit less. You can be somewhere around thirty to forty thousand dollars in upgrades for this floor plan. That's what the average person puts in thirty to forty thousand. Now, if you want all the bells and whistles, you should expect about fifty to sixty, which is what they have in this model home. Okay. Also, if you don't care about these upgrades and maybe you don't need it to be look like a model home and you just want something nice but not as expensive. You can probably be in it for about 20 grand. That's definitely doable. I had a client that did it and the house looks great as well. Especially if you're going for a rental or something like that, you plan on renting it out. Which by the way, we now offer not only services to help people buy homes like yourself. If you're looking to buy a home, I would love to be a realtor and help you out and guide you throughout this whole process because at the end of the day, my services are free to you as they get uh, all my commissions get paid by the builder. I can help you throughout this whole process, find you the right location, the right house for you. But on top of that, we now offer also property management services. So if you guys are interested, you're investors or you need uh, some, some help finding the right property for you to invest in, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to be uh, your property manager as well, uh, as uh, that will be coming up soon. Now, back to the video. We see this floor plan on the second floor. We have a pretty good size loft here. So you can see there's a big couch, TV set up right there, laundry room, secondary bathroom. So you have the two bedrooms over here with the bathroom, and then you have the primary bedroom back there. Okay, so we'll make our way around this house. I love how they upgraded here on the second floor, the stair rails. This is gonna be about $1,500 of an upgrade, so keep that in mind. Going in here, we also see all the door hinges all have been changed to the black finish. Some people really like that and are willing to pay the $2,000 to $2,500 of an upgrade to get that. But keep that in mind, you know, it's not free. Uh, we also have here the included countertop, which is a quartz. Most people just keep this quartz because it's beautiful. You can also upgrade each sink to the under mount, just like you see it. So it has a zero uh, threshold here. So bringing it to about 200 to 250 per sink uh, of an upgrade. They also put the luxury vinyl plank in this one. Otherwise it comes with tile in the kitchen and all the wet areas. And then everywhere else is carpet, such as living room, um, you know, dining room and all the upstairs is carpet. Uh, you have the fiberglass enclosure here, tub and shower combo. This is the included option. And again, as I mentioned, they changed to the black appliances. If you want to do the whole house, about 2,500 is what I would expect, maybe 2,000. The two bedrooms out here are pretty good size. This is a 10 by 12, maybe even more than that, 10 by 13. Good size. 
sliding door closet. Two windows, because it's one of the front uh, windows to the front of the house, which gives you a lot more light coming in here. And by the way, it does not come with the ceiling fan. It does not come with the pre-wire. You would have to add that at the design center, which is gonna cost you one to $200 uh, to add the pre-wire, okay. And the second bedroom is still a good size, a 10 by 11 or so. Um, you can see we have a full size bed here, which fits perfectly in this room, I think. Then your loft set up right here. And, oh, one thing I forgot to mention here in this bathroom. See that second sink? It doesn't come with the second sink. If you want, you can upgrade it and put it in, but it's not included. That's about $1,400 to add that. You have some storage here for linens. And then uh, over here, we have two windows on the loft, letting in plenty of light, which I like. I'm going into the laundry room here got your pen not all builders put this in but i do like that they put it in and then uh it drains to the outside in case you have some leak with your washer that's already preset there and then your dryer would go right next to it perfect so going in here we'll have our primary bedroom good size primary i never understood that window right there in the corner and how they modeled this you know it kind of doesn't match you know you have that bed going over but you know, it is what it is. That's where you can put a bit the bed because it's not the biggest room, although it's a good size. You see how much room we have here at the end of the bed. Uh, it's just that those two windows right there, they're not positioned well in my opinion, but who am I to say? And going in here, we have your bathroom. Now this whole setup right here has been upgraded. Uh, we have, First of all, a $4,500 upgrade for the walk-in shower. This one has the quartz surround as well. That is included in that price. And also the glass finish is included in that price of $4,500 with the extended seat, which is awesome. Fiberglass pan underneath and you just open up, take your shower, you're done. It looks really nice. Very easy to maintain, no grout. Over here, two undermount sinks are included. As I mentioned, they do have the upgrade to the undermount sinks, also the faucets, also the cabinets and all that good stuff. That's not what's included. And then right here we have your water closet. Now, full disclosure here, it does not come with the door. It can't, it just, it'll just be the, the toilet right there. And then you have to add the enclosure, which is about six to $700. And then your walk-in closet, which is a decent size. I like it. Okay. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this floor plan. And, uh, We've seen pretty much everything really nice, really nicely laid out. Now I have to say, I just came out of the 1720 floor plan and I do, I do like the downstairs of that one a little bit better because it is a little bit bigger, has more cabin space and it feels a little bit bigger. I do prefer this layout a little bit more on the second floor. The second floor is awesome here. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments between the two. And also, if you guys are interested in one of these homes and you want a realtor that has experience with all these new construction homes to represent you and be, you know, by your side while you're doing this, feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down below in the description. And uh, you can call me, text me, email me. We'll get you started, especially if you're from out of town. I have all the tools to get you ready to make you understand the neighborhoods, uh, you know, crime rates, school districts, and all that good stuff so that you are educated before you make a decision to buy a home. With that said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as usual. I'll see you on the next one.